Here I'm going to be comparing the Hostinger Premium versus Business Plan. If you'd like to follow along with me, I highly recommend that you click the link in the description or the pinned comment. I say that because if you do, I always update my link knowing that you can get the best possible discount. And as we continue on further in the video, if you want to get started, I'll show you how you can save even more. So when you arrive on this page, as you can see, you get up to 75% off web hosting. Let's click on the claim deal button and it's going to slide us down to the premium business and cloud startup plan. So we are just going to be comparing these two right here. So let's kind of go over why you'd want to use premium in the first place. As it showcases, everything you need to create your website, around $2.99 a month for 48 month term. I will talk about the terms and how you can save money with that as well. So why would you want to use premium? So if you are looking to create a website, your first website ever, and maybe you want to create like one or two and you don't need a ton of traffic, premium is probably going to be perfect for you. Some of the big perks you can see down below, you're going to be getting 25 websites, so you can create up to 25 if you want, 25 gigs of storage, 25,000 visits monthly, you get 50 mailboxes, and you get weekly backups. So those are some of the bigger perks, and yes, you can host WordPress on all of these. I host WordPress myself. It works great. So... Then we have business. If you want to level up with more power and enhanced features, the great thing about this is that it's only $1 more per month when compared to premium. So why would you want to use this one? Well, if you want more websites, more power, more features, and one feature in particular that I bring up every time that I talk about hosting her. So as you can see with the websites, it doubles to 50. It goes from 25,000 visits monthly to 100,000 visits monthly. Instead of 25 gigs, you get 50 gigs. You get 100 mailboxes. And this is one of the biggest features, in my opinion, why you'd want to use business here. So you can protect your website data with automatic daily and on-demand backups. Daily backups are stored for seven days and weekly backups are stored for seven weeks, as you can see in the previous one. So if you are like me and you are prone to breaking your website, this is something that you might want to look into. I've done this in the past and it can really be a horror show if you say create a lot of blog posts, a lot of content, make changes on your website, put a lot of work into it, then you accidentally break it and something goes wrong. At least if you have the daily on-demand backups, you can get a backup from the previous day, so you're not going to be losing a whole lot. However, if you had the weekly backups, you'd have to go back a week and a lot of times that can be a lot of hard work thrown down the drain if you happen to be you know, using the weekly backups. So that's one of the biggest features I like bringing up. There are going to be some other features that fluctuate in terms of which one you get here on premium or which one on business. But in my opinion, those are some of the biggest ones and the biggest differences that will help you choose when it comes to going from premium to business. So as I said before, if you are just getting up and running and you just need maybe one or two websites, your first website ever, premium will probably work. However, if you want more power, more websites, more features, and more specifically, you want the daily on-demand backups, business will probably great, be great for you. And heck, you could still be creating your first website and you still want those daily backups. Business is only $1 more per month, which isn't too bad. So whichever plan that you choose based upon the help that I've given you here, let's say you're going to be going with business. So make sure you choose your plan. I'm going to click right here. And given the fact we are comparing plans and pricing overall, if you did want to get started, uh, there's going to be a section on the right. As you can see, you get a 71% discount already, but it says have a coupon code. All you have to do here, if you want to get started, click on that. And if you look down below in the description or the pinned comment, I'm going to have a coupon code for you. You can simply type it in, copy and paste it, click on apply, and you're going to get even more savings on this. My way of saying thank you so much for watching this video. I don't want to say what it is because I'm always refreshing the coupon coupon, making sure that it is up to date. So if it ever changes, I don't want to confuse you, but it will be down there where you can enter that in and save even more money. So once you have the specific plan that you want to pick, there's going to be a few payment periods that you can utilize. I never recommend using one month and I'll get to that soon, but 48 months is going to be the best bang for your buck. It's always going to renew at $14 a month here. You do get your free domain and with this one exclusively, you get three months free included with your order. So yes, while you might be paying a little bit more up front, Overall, it is going to be the best deal because you do get those three free months and the overall cost averages out the least. So it's around $4 a month there. Let's go back to 24 now. You're going to see it goes from four to about 450. You get your free domain for a year, but you don't get those extra three months. Let's go to 12 now. It goes from about 450 to $5 a month, which it averages out to, and you still get that free domain. And as I talked about before, one month just isn't worth it. 
right off the bat, you're looking at $14 a month. There's a $5 setup fee and you don't even get a free domain. No big discount, definitely not worth it. I never recommend it or use it myself. But when you're having a website, ideally you wanna use it for the long term. So it makes sense that either 12, 24 or 48 is gonna be right for you. Really depends on what you wanna spend. But if you wanna spend a little bit more upfront and get the best value, 48 months is going to be your best bet, but ultimately that decision is going to be up to you. I'm sure you can make a good decision based upon some of the factors there. Of course, if you do want to get started, make sure you enter in that coupon code, click on apply, and then continue. And that's pretty much going to conclude this tutorial when it comes to comparing the premium versus business plan. This would ultimately be the second to last step where you can register or just use Google to register. Make sure you use a primary email here if you do because they're going to send you the important information about your account. You click on register and last but not least, you would pay on the next page. I already have an account, so I'm not gonna do this here specifically. And in case you were curious, you do get that free domain. You would get that on the inside of hosting or after you pay. So they do it a little bit different. I know sometimes you enter in your domain and then pay, but you would be doing it on the inside of your dashboard in case you were curious. And that about does it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And of course, if you do wanna get up and running, you can use the link in the pinned comment or description. And make sure you also use that coupon as it can save you even more money. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy hosting her as much as I do.